Hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, um, educators and instructors. Welcome to the um, Kraus and Mahan's Food and Nutrition Care Process Workshop for Instructors. So my name is Hui Ping. I am the Publishing Manager for Elsevier Health Southeast Asia. I am based in Singapore. I'm actually speaking to you from the Singapore office today. And with me virtually today is my colleague, uh, Ms. Mokali. She is based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. She is the accounts manager for Thailand and Malaysia, Elsevier Health Books. So today we would like to introduce to you the first Southeast Asia edition of Kraus and Mahan, why we did it, and uh, Mocha will take you through the free resources for instructors. Uh, she will do a live demo on it. After that, we will also touch upon the free resources for students. And uh, throughout this workshop, if you have any questions, please uh, put in the Q&A box. And at the end of the session, we will uh, do a Q&A session. Okay. So why do we need a Southeast Asia edition? As you know, uh, Kraus and Mahan is authored by the faculty in the United States. So there's actually quite a number of US-centric content um, that, is not, that might not be relevant in our region. And also we have different BMI cutoffs from uh, the Western population, and as well as our dietary habits and hence a different set of guidelines applies to us. And also in ASEAN, we follow the Codex labeling guidelines, not the FDA. And we follow the WHO instead of CDC growth charts. So all these uh, have been replaced in the Southeast Asia edition. And also importantly, we include the references and citations from Southeast Asia in one place. So it's easy for students to do projects or thesis. Okay, so basically we want to uh, provide uh, affordable and also more relevant addition for the Southeast Asian students. So these are some examples of the US-centric content that we have removed in the Southeast Asia edition. I call them noise because, um, you know, as you know, when students trying to understand certain concepts and throughout the learning flow, they come across this kind of um, content that has federal government of US, US food program, which is not relevant to them, they may lose um, focus or interest. Okay, these are some of the examples of the Southeast Asia or Asia content that we have added, included in the Southeast Asia edition, and examples of the citations from Southeast Asia. So for that, I would like to thank our contributors Prof. Paul, Prof. Nick, Dr. Rezwan, and our reviewers, Dr. Da uh, Dion, Assistant Professor Diane, Dr. Spanios, and Professor Wantani. Thank you very much for your contribution for this first Southeast Asia edition. So I'll ha now hand over to Mokha, who will take you through the evolved resources for instructors. Mokha, please. Okay. Hi everyone, good afternoon. Can you see my slide? Oh, can you see my screen? Yeah, I think okay. So hey, good afternoon. My name is Moka. Um, I'm from Malaysia. I'm uh, managing the book business in Thailand and market uh, and Malaysia market. So it is my pleasure to share the Evolve resources with the uh, healthcare educators. So um, Um, I think can you share the slide again? Sorry. Yeah. Today I want to introduce this EWAS. EWAS is a non one stop online portal for healthcare educators and students to access their Elsevier digital teaching and learning materials. EWAS is also an online multimedia resource, including animation, images, case studies, PowerPoint slides, test banks. These resources are various by textbooks. 
So with these online resources, uh, it will help the lecturers to prepare the teaching slide and align with your teaching. For students, because involved resources are specifically uh, created to accompany their textbook, the students can quickly and easily find the study tools to help them learn the right information, clarify, and their understanding. Next, I think. So EWOF actually is um, available via the LCVA textbook, and it comes with no extra cost, which means it comes with free when you purchase the books for the students. So EWOF resources are designed to be fun, interactive, while helping the students learn key concepts and deepen their understanding. You can access these relevant digital study tools whenever and wherever you need them. You can use them over the phone, tablet, laptop, and desktop. So now we will play a video to kickstart this. I use Evolve resources every day, part of my learning, especially after like two, three hours of lecture to get the chapter, chapter summaries and the key points of like what, what's important to know. It's a resource for you to further strengthen the information that you were taught in class and piggyback on that in practice. Um, you, you know, all the practice questions, you know, the interactive games and the case scenarios, just extra, it, Evolve Resources is an extra help for you to strengthen your knowledge and be successful um, throughout your journey for your All right, I will go to the live and share my screen. You can access to Evolve by this website, www.evolve.lcvr.com. So for those uh, this, who is first time, you can click uh, an educator to register an account. Here, sign in, create account. So, for the lecturer, healthcare educator, please select faculty because we have two types of account in um, EWOF students and uh, faculty. So, if let's say you are registered under students, right, you will only able to view with student resources. So, in this case, you have to select faculty and you can uh, able to access more resources. So let I do not repeat in United States. This is very important. Yes, again. And submit. Okay. So when you are able to um, successfully register an account, right? Here you can view it my evolve catalog and help. My evolve is something like uh, titles that you have already registered will appear in my evolve. So this is your first time. You can search the title under the catalog. So there are a lot of titles uh, which have evolve resources. You can search any titles here. But in this uh, 
around. We are sharing more on like Kraus and Mahan. So we will search Kraus and Mahan. Let's go. So you will see this. So this is the US edition of Kraus and Mahan. We are using this the 15th edition Kraus and Mahan Food and Nutrition Care Process. Please choose the resources. This one. Don't, please do not choose the ebook or the hardcover. Please choose the resources. So click this. And then you will see this. Although we are using the Southeast Asia edition of the Cross and Mahan, which is like in light blue color, but in Evolve, we are using the US edition. So this is the book cover of the US edition. So click here to request for the UWAF resources. Request. And then when it comes to here, please click UWAF content only. Apply. The price is in zero amount, don't worry. Proceed to check out and redeem. Ah, because this is the first time I register an account. So uh, we need to get your information. So this is a very important step. Please tell us about your institution. Why this is important? Because if you are keeping the wrong um, information, right? It will link to a different um, account manager. For example, um, for, Mal for Malaysia and Thailand, it will come to me for uh, getting the request approval. For Indonesia, it will come to uh, Mr. Nopan. For Philippines and Singapore, it will go to Ms. Jasmine. So we need to make sure this is clean correctly. So, Please make sure you key the correct institution name and the country. This is very important. Or else you will go to a different uh, manager for the approval. Okay, so we will continue to come back here. Click yes, I am an instructor and submit. So you will see this. Thank you for your request. Your information is currently being reviewed to ensure that we'll only verify instructor gains access to the instructor, uh, instructor material. So in this situation, you just uh, give us about like two to three days for us to uh, review and approve. Um, Usually the account manager, right? The account manager from your server will email you to get the reading, reading list. And you please uh, email the reading list to the account manager. And I am doing the approval right now. Please give me a moment. Okay, I have approved myself. So we can go back to my email here. The title will be will appear here once it is being approved. So
for instructor, right, you will see both instructor resources and student resources. But for students, they will only see student resources, but not instructor resources. Yeah. So click into the instructor resources. So we can have a lot of uh, uh, multimedia here, animations, audience response system questions, images, uh, case studies, PowerPoint slide, test bank. So we will go um, one to one. Announcement, you can click in. But that at this moment, there is no announcement. So we can go to a content update. So the content update will show here, conversion guide, you can download. Information will be here. So, animation. These resources are arranged according to the chapter um, per the textbook. So, the, the, the animation is sought according to the uh, subject. I can play. Okay, we will pause Get here. Sound of the video. No sound. Oh, actually, got sound. <laughs> okay. will have sound. Maybe my setting is incorrect. Sorry about that. Actually, it has sound. And um, yeah, go for another one. Okay, we pause it again. So uh, beside animation, we have this audience response system questions. So content here are according to the chapter of the book. For example, we click one of these. All these information are able to download and you can edit. There is no um, law, right? So you can go to uh, images collection right now. Let pick one. You can download. Save it. No issue. So there are various of uh, images that you can save and use it for your teaching. So now we go for this uh, NCLEX and uh, case study for nutrition. So here, here we have case study questions. Yeah. And next one will be the PowerPoint slide for the teaching. This PowerPoint slide also got according to the chapter of the uh, uh, per the textbook. 
for example, we open one of the nutrition in adolescents and eat. A lot of lecturers actually like the PowerPoints. Like if this one can be added, you can add your uh, Nifty logo here, your, your photos, your names, anything. You can add and edit, amend, delete, like anything can be done. Yeah. So every chapter will have the teaching flag. So it actually helps the lecturer to prepare their uh, teaching material easily. So next one, we go for the text bank. Here we'll have some quizzes, text bank. So play around. So you can play around um, with the text bank here. So oh, if let's say the lecturer wants to download everything, information to prepare their, their teaching material, actually you can go to this download by resources tab. Here, you can just one click to download everything. All the chapter, for example, the PowerPoint slide, right? It's all the chapter of the PowerPoint. It's safe file, it's easier. You need to click one by one. <laughs> And everything will be independent file. Yeah, it's more easier, right? All right. Okay, I think that is the um, sharing for the re, uh, instructor resources. So I will hand over to um, Weiping to share more on the student resources. Yeah, Weiping. Thank you, Mocha. I think you, you still have two slides here. Yeah. Can you just come up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this I mentioned just now, uh, click request here. And please remember that the book cover is follow the US edition and it's not the light, uh, light blue color, right? Okay. So, um, That is criteria to meet in order to access to the evolved resources because uh, um, for the evolve or offer resources for cost preparation, teaching, testing, imitation, and program completion. These resources are complementary. However, there are some criteria that healthcare educators need to be meet to access to evolve, which are adopting the textbook for teaching in class and listed the title in the course reading list. To access your request, you will appreciate it if you can email us the full copy of the reading list. So for the students, they need to purchase the print books to access the e -walk. My colleague Flipping will further explain to this later on. Please take note that purchase of pirated PDF or e-books are not entitled to access to e resources. Okay, I think yeah, I hand over to you now. Thank you. Thanks, Monka. So um, like the instructor, we also have the resources for um, the students. Um, they can see the Evolve logo on the cover of the book. And if they flip over the cover on the inner front cover, there is an uh, unique individual pin code for everyone that is um, only works for once and is only found in authentic original print book. Okay, so I will just go live as well. Uh, very quickly. So when the student sign in, they will sign uh, see the student resources, and they have um, much less resources, but also but it's in, um, important for them to do like self assessment. So they will have case studies, and for each chapter, they have some self assessment questions. All the chapter they will have it. So for case study, these are the leads, uh, and if you go in, see one of them diabetes. So um, it's actually a case with some of the investigation and also the, the um, results that you can see. And then they can just type in their answer and then they, then they can review the answer. So it's actually more for self-assessment, okay? And for, um, if they click on the chapter itself, so I just open one, 
they will see the study questions and um, there are two types of study questions they can practice. The first one is actually drag and drop matching questions. So just don't mind me, I just put any, uh, my answers are not correct. So submit. So they have to actually submit each uh, question answer in order to proceed to another question. So this is after the first question of matching and drop, uh, they have the MCQ after that. So it's like the NCLEX questions for nurses. Yeah. So that is all I share on the student part. So for them to access it um, is also via the uh, evolve link uh, on the pit on the front cover. So in the front cover here, if you see there is the um, link in the front uh, in the front cover, which they can type in the URL and then click register and then um, it will be free if they have the individual unique pin code for them. Yeah, that's all. Coming back to Muka for other titles. Yeah, thanks, Weeping. Yeah, besides Cross and Maha, we also have uh, this a new nutrition and dietitian related titles. For example, we have this William Basic Nutrition and Diet Therapy, which is published uh, in July 2021 this year. And we also have nutritional composition and antioxidant properties of fruits and vegetables, which is published also in July 2020 last year. Yeah. Flipping next. We also have diet inflammation and health published this year, going to publish in December. And evidence-based nutrition and clinical evidence of bioactive food in humans, health and disease which is just published in July this year. We have two good titles, which is published last year, July, which is present knowledge in nutrition, basic nutrition and metabolism, and also present knowledge in nutrition, clinical and applied topics in nutrition. Don't worry about um, the information. I will send you a post-event follow-up email with all these uh, new titles, uh, brochures, and also together with the simple guide for the just now we, what we how to register the evolve and also request the the, the cross and Mahan titles. This information we will send to you via email later on, probably by next week. Yeah. Okay. Here comes to the end of the webinar, and we are now open for Q and A. So please uh, raise your question in the Q and A box. So Muka, there is. There are two questions here. The first question is, um, can the PowerPoint slides for lecturers be edited or taken out to be included as part of another PPV uh, PowerPoint deck? Sure, yeah. You can have it, I mean, you can edit it and uh, I mean, anything on it. Sure, you can uh, just uh, adopt the resources. Yes. Okay, and then the second question um, from Puan Zalina. When we click request, which part to click for choose how to access your content or product? When we click request, which part to click for choose how to access your content um, or product? Yeah. Do you want to share your screen again? I will stop my share. All right. Which part I'm not understanding? Click request, which part? When we click request, all right, I will try to request again. When we click request, uh, you make sure it is under resources, the new one. Although this has uh, the pricing, but you can just ignore it. Uh, for lecturer, it's coming free uh, with the criteria you have to meet, which is you adopt the books for your teaching and you send us um, the reading list. And these books have to be uh, listed in your reading list, the cross reading list. Just click request. And then, Content only. 
involve content only and apply. Then go down, proceed to check out within. So we can just sit down. Yes, yes, I am an instructor. Submit. Two rounds, two rounds of the staff, and then you will see this. Thank you for your request. That is done. Yeah. So please give us about a few days until a, a week like that for us to review and, and uh, approve it. Yeah. Am I answer the question? Yeah, thanks, Zalena. The, yeah. The, uh, thank you, Mocha, uh, because I've, I've got, uh, go through the website and then register uh, into this website as an educator at mm -hmm. the right side of the website when uh, they see a free for qualified instructor and you have the request. Do I need to click the request? I, I, I've already seen that one in your slide. Uh, slide? Right, uh, from your uh, sharing slide. Okay, when uh, we click request, there comes uh, a tools bar said that how you want to choose the content or the product. Do I need to go further on? Oh, right now, I can't again. You mean here? Uh, no, not, not this one. Not the, not I think uh, the next slide. Okay, all right. So when we click resources, so right. This one? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Click resources. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, right. Other, other uh -uh, yeah, okay, that one. Mm. Okay. Okay, so uh, this one. Yeah. Or oh, just apply. Uh, okay, yeah. this one, do I need to, uh, okay, so I need to choose Evolve and Content Only. Yes, this is oh, okay, right. okay. Content Only. Okay, thank you, Moka. You are welcome. Okay, bye. So, uh, sorry, going back to the first question from, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, Jean Aim Wong. Can we answer your question? Uh, you can speak. I saw that you typed some qu uh, questions on the chat. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think this one okay. we answer already. We can edit the PowerPoint slide for the lecturer yeah. and okay. take it out to be included as another power, another uh, PowerPoint deck. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Great. So the next question I have is the uh, okay. This one we have answered live. Um, from. Yeah, I saw the question, which yes. is uh, how much is the price? The price yeah. Okay, uh, for the book price, you have to check with your local bookseller. Um, I think um, Sajida Ahmad is from Malaysia, right? You can check with, uh, we have a lot of uh, local bookseller in Malaysia. And uh, the price is roughly about uh, ringgit, like 200 plus ringgit, 200, uh, 250 to 300, between this rate price range, depends on uh, who is the bookseller that you are uh, we are dealing through, yeah. So, okay. thank you, Moka. So in, in, in order to uh, access uh, to this evolved resources, right? For lecturer, it is free, provided you adopt these books for your teaching. And then, secondly, you have to list this book in your course reading list. Then, please send us your um, course reading list for us to review. Then, we will approve the lecturer to access the evolved resources. For the students, you need to purchase a physical text, uh, physical textbook, which is in like blue color. Then the, you can find the code on the first two, first second page. You just read the code. Yeah. So can I just add that um, the also one of the reasons that we did the Southeast Asia edition is to make it uh, more affordable than the US edition. So I can really say that this price is like less than half price of the US edition for yeah. our region. But yeah, we have different booksellers and also uh, we have participants from different countries. So uh, in your local um, local currency, you have to ask the, the bookseller there. Okay, the next question is, um, may I know 
from Noor Aini Jamil. Uh, may I know if the online case study samples are similar to those found in the printed book or there are different set of questions? So I can answer this. There are different set of questions. Um, they are not the same as the one in, uh, in the book. And also we did some modification of the case study as well in the book, but not all the case studies, just uh, some of them, uh, because some of them of the dietary um, background or the history is a bit different from how, what we eat here. So uh, we did some modification as well in the Southeast Asia edition. So, okay. The last question is have that is, is if the student do self-assessment, can the educator view the result and monitor the progress? Mon uh, Mokta, can you answer this? For this one, at this moment, we don't uh, have uh, this. We don't, we don't, so let's say we can't see their result at this moment. Yeah. So they, the student will only do the assessment based on, um, based on their own pace and they can see the result at the end of the assessment, but not the lecturer. So they could just treat it as an exercise for themselves. Yeah. I believe we need the LMS uh, in the, in the yeah. for that. We, we need the LMS for that. However, for, for, for South Asia, we don't have the LMS in EWAS. It's only available in the uh, United States at this moment. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Mocha. Thank you. So I have another question that one person asked in the chat to see, is there a free one month trial? Uh, actually, this is free. So <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean by free one month trial. Oh yeah, if let's say, if let's say the students um, buying a second handbook of the Southeast Asian edition of Craft, let's say. So if, because this is a second handbook, right? The codes are being redeemed already. So if you want to uh, access to this Evolve resources, you have to purchase another code, another Evolve resources code, which is this pricing. This is only for those who don't have the code, then they have to purchase, for, especially for the students. So that's why we uh, always encourage the student to buy a new book because the new books come with a free code and it's in new condition. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks Mukha. There's another question. Will the resources, the US version be applicable for the Malaysia version? Um, what do you mean by that? Do you mean by whether the resources are relevant or are we using the... Um, so the Malaysia, it's not the Malaysia version, it's the Southeast Asia version. We are using the US resources because we didn't create a separate uh, resource bank for the Southeast Asia edition because that will actually increase the price point as well. So that was a consideration when we do, uh, did the Southeast Asia edition. So applicable, uh, application is uh, more or less okay because they uh, more or less is from on the concepts and, and the science behind it. And some of the uh, studies, uh, case study might be different ethnic group because of the different population um, background. So, but if you, I can actually look at the profile of the case, maybe it might be applicable. Or you, can, you can actually change a bit also if you want to um, give a, a case that's similar to, to the Malaysia or Southeast Asia context. Hope I answered your question there. So another question from Jesslyn, can an instructor be granted access to the instructor in resource if this textbook is not being adopted? Let me answer this thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the answer is no, no. <laughs> the, the instructor resources will be approved when the lecturer is adopt this book for teaching and also listed this title in their course reading list. If, the, the, if this letter was not listed in the reading list, right, we are not approved the lecturer to assess the work resources. Yeah. I hope you answer Mocha. the question. Thank you, Mocha. So uh, next question is, is there an expiry date for the online access for the student? Um, no, because uh, it's actually the expiry date is as long as they are, the device lasts uh, and the addition lasts. So once they actually have access to um, I mean, they activated the PIN code, it's already in their account. And uh, so if they change their laptop or the device that they use to activate this, then it will only last as long as the device lasts. 
Um, and also if there is a new edition coming out, then these resources will actually be kept for about two years. And then after that, it will uh, be actually uh, retired. So that's all. Next question. Can we download the images under the resources for our own PowerPoint? Are they used? Do we have to seek permission? Um, let me answer this. You can download the PowerPoint to uh, use for your own um, um, PowerPoint or other users. Yes, you can download. And there is no need to seek any permission. Thank you, Mocha. So a uh question -huh. from uh, Mohammad Ramadan, Ramadan Hamid. Can the instructor access to more than one textbook such as Krauss and Williams? Sure, yeah, yes. Uh, let me try a demo once again. I'm not sure William. Um, not every title will come in uh, evolved resources. You have to check on the title uh, cover page. For example, you try this one. So same step apply, but this one is a new title. Yeah, it's a new title. So let's choose another title. Mm, yeah. All right. Okay. So request is the same step like the crowd. Okay. You want content only. Apply. Here on. That yes, I'm instructor and submit. Okay, I guess the same thing applies for Williams. Yeah. So this book has yes. put in in the reading list and everything. Yeah, sure. Everything. I mean, every title register request you must adopt this title for teaching and also listed this title in the course reading list. Yes. Um, okay, um, I have a one, another question on the here from, uh, sorry, I can't pronounce your name properly, Jin Wong, regarding to the adoption of the book in the reference list, would you be requesting the cost portfolio as a proof? How do you verify this info? Because they have several lecturers within the course. So Muka, how do you verify the adoption? Usually the account manager of the respective country, right, were able to see your request and they will contact you via emails and ask you for the reading list. So you have to reply their email and attach the course reading list to them. And uh, by this way, we were able to, to review your request and approve it uh, accordingly. So I have um, approved this. So you can go to my evolve. My evolve is a page that uh, where your titles have been uh, approved. So William is here. So you can request more than one title, uh, um, but you have to adopt this title in your teaching. So this is a William um, resources. So we will not go further on this, but I can just show you like one or two seconds of that. Yeah, this is the resources under William. You can play around when you uh, log in to the eWork later on, yeah. Okay, thanks, Christine. Any more questions? Yes, there are two hands up. Uh, so the uh, first one is Iswan Wee. Do you have a question you'd like to ask us? Oh, uh, no. Okay. So <laughs> there's uh, another hands up from Jessel and Albutra. Would you like to ask us uh, a question? I see your hands up. You can, you can unmute yourself and speak. Thank you. Hey, can't hear you. Or you could actually type in the in the Q and A box, please. Okay. Any more questions? You can also uh, also raise your hand or type in your Q and A box in the Q and A box.
No? So I think, okay, Mocha, maybe we can close this if we don't have any questions, Mocha. All right. So, yeah, oh, thank you. Sorry. More questions? Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so oh, wonderful. I actually asked uh, Mocha, can you show the content of the Williams books, please? Oh, sure. <laughs> Um, sure, no problem. So, should we go for a very brief, quick one? All right, so image connection. We have plenty of it. Start by the chapter. So this image you can download and um put it on your teaching slide or any uh, materials. No need to ask for permission because uh this picture are already uh for for example like right, this picture already got cited the Elsevier rights. So don't worry, you can use it freely. So case study. We have two here, questions and answers. Yeah, we have six years, right? And we have answers. We have answers here. So it's like this study, we have PowerPoint slide as well. And then we have teach lesson plan. Testing as well. All right. This is the resources under William. Any more questions? Thanks, Prof. Paul. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> uh, okay, there's one question about this. It's not relevant. I think it's, they say why so cute, but I don't know what's cute. So, <laughs> so any more questions uh, before we close this session? No more. We will be sending out the um, post event follow up email to all the attendees. And we will um, attach the a simple guideline, a uh, simple guide for register on the evolve and also the class and Mahan titles. Besides that, we also uh, will, will attach the uh, new titles, new initiation and dietitian related titles uh, brochure to you as well. And a lot of uh, other information. So you can refer to the email uh, later on, probably next week. Yeah. Oh, the uh, some person, someone just joined, and will you have this session again? I just joined at the end. <laughs> we only have uh one round, so these are uh, but we will have recording session later on. I mean, we will share the recording uh the, the video through the post uh post event follow up email. Yeah, don't worry, we will share the recording later. Thank you. So I think uh, just look out for the email from us uh, for after this webinar because we will send you the, result, um, the materials that uh, Mocha said and also the re recording if you'd like to play back and uh, follow the steps. Oops, we have another one. Okay. Um, so thank you very much for your time and for joining us. Thank you. And please stay safe and stay well. Bye-bye.